Hello men, I'm starting two new burning wheel campaigns, and this doesn't mean that the wall is ending, at least not for the foreseeable future, I just want to do more. And as usual, there's an open invitation to join. There are a few practical things we need to sort before you can join, but I'd recommend listening all the way through this entire fucking rant I'm doing currently, because everything is relevant, don't get discouraged. And first a bit about the two new wheels. One will be Call of Cthulhu with burning wheel rules. I'll make custom life paths and modify the mechanics to fit, convert investigations, or more likely make my own. This will be the more serious of the two, both tonally and in regards to realism, as realistic as you can get within the Cthulhu missiles, that is. The second one is a bit more campy, literally and figuratively. It'll also be burning wheel rules, but it'll take place in the early 90s, and you'll be playing a kid, a kid with problems. Your parents sent you a way to camp to sort these problems. The camp may very well not be the solution, but you got sent regardless. Cue a bunch of teenagers being dumb in the woods. And there's possibly going to be some Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street elements, maybe even Stephen King's It going on. I don't know. This one, as you probably guessed, is a bit more silly than the other one, and will likely have a lot of death. Like, a lot. A lot. Splat everywhere. Now for applying, and I realise I didn't write too much about either of the settings or how they work, but all you need to know at this point is if you're interested or not. We'll sort the rest out later when we make characters. Also, expressing interest in one does not exclude you from the other. Now for the practical shit. Like before, you'll have to make an application in the form of you talking shit into a microphone and upload it to YouTube, make it private, send me a link, either here or on Twitter. You can also upload it to SoundCloud. You can even fucking just take the raw sound file, slap it in Google Drive or Dropbox and send me a link for that. It doesn't matter. I just need to hear you say these things. In the video audio thing, I'll look for a few things. The audio quality of your microphone. We're making a video that people will be watching and we can't have people straining to hear what's going on or molest people's ear canals with static. This includes background noise. Oh, and uh, you'll need to own Tabletop Simulator. It's often on sale, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem to uh, get if you're serious about this stuff. And you'll need to be available once a week at a set time. Possibly maybe once every other week. I'm not sure how the schedule for this will be. Uh, I'm flexible. Well, not my legs, but in the time sense. And uh, the time will be up to you lot, pretty much. Tell me when you're available, prefer preferably in Rufford time, which is UTC plus one. And I'll look at when everyone is available, and then I'll pick a spot with the biggest overlap. If this means it will take place in the middle of the night or early morning to accommodate people across the pond, that's fine. I'm flexible, like I said. And you will, of course, have to sit somewhere where you can be undisturbed for this time. And the sessions usually last two hours, so you'll be able, you'll have to spend two hours of your week doing some shit and be able to do that every week. Of course... If you're off to vacation or some dumb shit, we can make exceptions, but I want to keep the flow going. So if people are gone too much, then uh, we might just have someone else step in. Because, yeah, it's annoying being asked, no new video, oh, especially when you want to do the video, but someone just doesn't show up. So that's us. Uh, yes, and on the topic of audio quality, you'll need to have an internet connection that's fairly decent and that has a decent upload speed. When you record the thingy for me, I'm hearing uncompressed audio recorded directly onto your computer. When it goes through the interwebs, it, the quality usually will degrade. And the farther you are away from me, the worse the quality will usually be degraded, depending on your upload speed. So the farther you are away, the higher your upload speed should be. This is usually not a problem. Most people have decent internet these days, but... If you have some shitty connection, especially wireless, there might be a bunch of uh, audio artifacting or dumb shit happening, which we can't have. But that's one of those annoying things we can't really test until we test it. But we're going to do a lot of practice crap, but we're going to talk before people uh, agree to joining and stuff like that. So uh, even if you apply and you're not sure about that one, we'll figure it out. So don't worry about that. It's not like, yeah, I'm not fucking, what was that stupid show where the guy tells the other guy he's fired. It's not going to be like that. Well, I'm not an asshole. Oh, <laughs> on the topic of that, you're also required not to be a cunt. It's fine if your character is a backstabbing crot, but there needs to be respect between players. Also, no whining. Burning Wheel is complex. The rules are dense and hard to get into. You'll need to make an effort and commit. Ask me if there's something you don't understand and we'll sort it out. We can even practice certain mechanics between sessions. The rules are deep and varied, all in the service of giving you options to making your decisions matter. If you make a dumb decision in combat because up until that point you failed to learn the mechanics and it kills you, that's too bad. 
Don't hurt me though, we'll have gone over everything at least once beforehand. So if you fail to absorb it, and then again asked, uh, fail to ask me to clarify it afterwards, then it's your own fault. You can always ask me between sessions if there's mechanics you don't understand. And if I introduce a new mechanic and force you to use it, you can always ask questions then and there. But if we are five sessions in and a thing comes up for the fifth time and you still don't understand it, then please, I mean... Just poke me after the session, after one of the sessions, and if you still don't understand something, we'll go over it until you do. Don't worry about that stuff. Just don't, don't whinge about the rules. Oh, and also, no whining. With that over with, tell me a bit about yourself. Have you roleplayed before? What systems, what type of characters did you like to play? If you haven't before, don't, don't fret. The way the beliefs work in Burning Wheel, uh, when you put your character through the character generation ring ringer along with me, your character will... If all else fails, basically play itself because of the beliefs. This doesn't mean that you don't have any freedom. It just means that if you are... If you go up there, get stage fight, become baseline retarded when we're playing, just looking at your sheet and seeing where it says, what will my character do in this situation, you'll have an idea of what to do. You'll never stand there and not know what to do, which is fine. So don't worry about that. Also, a certain level of maturity is required. I know that's rich coming from me. But uh, yeah, I don't want to put a number of age requirements. If you're experienced and mature, you can be a wee child all you like. But a too big an age gap generally makes for some weird shit. And also, if you've got a vague idea from for a character that you might consider playing, either from having listened to the very, very sparse shit I gave about this setting, or having maybe listened to some of Kikoska's Cthulhu on my burning wheel, uh, do, do lay it on me. Or if, even if it's just a vague concept. The more you get talking in this video, the better. Just don't talk about booze. It's cringy. On the topic of stuff to watch, uh, there's certain there's a few things you can do. First of all, you can go to the Burning Wheel website. For some fucking reason, Luke Crane is very uh, Luke Crane is the guy who's made Burning Wheel. He's very weird about digital copies of things. But you can go to the Burning Wheel website. If you search Burning Wheel, you should find it. You have to sign up, which is a bit weird, and then you have to go into the store. Don't worry, you're not actually paying for anything, and then you go to something called Burning Wheel Gold. Burning Wheel Gold Sheets. Not Burning Wheel Gold. Burning Wheel Gold is the book. You're looking for Burning Wheel Gold Sheets. It's free, and then you go put in checkout thingy, and then you get that, and uh, then it goes, yeah, here's some PDFs, and then you have some PDFs, and you can read those PDFs, and one of those PDFs I think is 60 pages long, and it is a brief introduction, yes, 60 pages brief, to Burning Wheel. If you're the sort of person who absorbs better through reading, that might be a good idea to download. And it's very awkward, you have to go into the store, but he's weird about that, so you have to do that. It's something about limiting to five downloads per person, which is very, very weird, considering you can just make infinite accounts. Oh, Luke Crane. I would put a link to the fucking PDF somewhere, I might have uploaded it in the description, if I didn't think that he would go apeshit about it, which he has before, so that's weird. So you'd have to go there. Otherwise, you can go watch some of Kikoskia's stuff. Uh, his Call of Cthulhu campaign is a very good way of getting an idea of the theme, setting, and general how Call of Cthulhu works. We'll of course not be using the same system, but that shouldn't matter so much uh, from you getting an idea of how it works from watching it. Just have a have a wee gander at that shit, and uh, if you like the setting and stuff, uh, Call of Cthulhu might be for you. I mean, of course, we're going to be using the Burning Wheel system, which just gives you more freedom, so that's good. And uh, there's also a very brief, abruptly ended Burning Wheel campaign on uh, Kokoska's channel. And uh, it's run by a much better GM and man than me, uh, which is also a Luke, not Luke Crane, but another Luke. And uh, that's also a very good way of getting to know the system. Especially because it's not very long, so it should give you the most densely packed amount of information in the shortest while. Uh, yeah, I think if you just search for Burning Wheel on Kikoski's channel, you'll find it. Automatically. I don't think we gave the session a name or anything other than that. Alternately, there's my wall. Bear in mind that it's long, and this was also my first attempt at GMing, and... A bit, I'm a bit flaily in the rules, and a lot of stuff that should have, uh, not have come to pass came to pass. So it's it's a learning experience for everyone. But if you like that sort of, oh, sorry, if you like that sort of thing, put it on the background and listen to that shit. None of this is required, by the way, but you are required to make an effort. Some of this will literally eat hours out of your day, so th those are not required. But if absolute minimum, 
If you're not going to watch any of the videos, go to the page, get that thing, read about it, or find a wiki somewhere where you can read about it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I've probably forgotten a few things. If you're curious, or if you're unclear about something, ask me on Twitter. Ask me on... well, you can use YouTube, but... The way the thing works is uh, the private messages are kind of awkward to see. They never notify me if there's a private message. I have to go in there and w look myself in the private messages. And I never do because there's never anything there. So I rarely do that. But I'll make a habit of doing it. There's also my email, uh, which is uh, on YouTube here. Just go into the about and there should be a business email. Not that I do any business of any kind, but uh, it's there. The easiest thing you can probably do is to try and catch one of my streams. The, what, the easiest way to do that is to follow me on Twitter. And then I say, oh, stream something, something, slop. And then the stream comes up, and you can go there, and you can ask me directly. This is probably going to be the easiest way of doing this, because then I can, of course, speak to you directly as well, and we can clarify things and stuff like that. Very fine. Yeah, I hope I didn't discourage you from, uh, from doing this stuff. But, uh, yeah. Oh, also... Uh, initial group will be chosen almost exclusively on availability. And I know I said this before when I asked for people to join the wall, but uh, if you don't make uh, make it into the first bunch of people, your little name, there will be a little tag I'll make with your name on, and I'll put it in a little bag that will be on the table when we play. And then if someone dies, I'm going to take a name out of that bag and... Then the next person to take the place of the person who died will be the person on that has that name. If the person who died wants to go back in the bag, they can go back at the bottom of the bag. That's fine. You're not forever out. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll give everyone a chance to join this shit. Yeah, that's that's about it. I will uh, I'll be running this uh, the application before I start this thing. Will probably be about two months. I know that's a long time, but. Last time, uh, we didn't get that many applications. We got a few, and uh, but a lot of them were incompatible with the time, so that didn't work. But we did we did manage to sort something out. But I'd like to see a, a good pile of cunts, which is good. Also, if the session has already started when you see this video, and if it's still going, you can still apply. If you do that, you're going to go in the bag, and the bag is a good place to be, because you might make an appearance. Anyway, I've been ranting for far too long, so uh, give it a think. Uh, ask me questions, uh, find men, all that shit, or ladies for that matter. The previous one was a bit of a sausage fest, even though everyone, everyone might think that Insomniac was a girl, which he isn't. But uh, yeah, so uh, any any genders may apply. No, uh, no dogs though. Okay, so uh, yeah, tie them. Peace.